Good day everyone, I am Stephanie Garcia of Hume's Grade 12 and I am here to present to you Jose Maria Zaragoza. Zaragoza was born on December 6, 1912. During the time, the Philippines was steadily experiencing American influence, even as the country's Spanish heritage was very much in evidence. At the time of Zaragoza's birth, Manila was being designed to suit Daniel Burnham's plans. Burnham, who was known for his work as the director of works of the, for the Chicago World's Columbian Exposition of 1893, was aiming for something simple yet acknowledges Philippine conditions and traditions. To execute his plans and designs, Burnham chose William Parsons, whose works in the Philippines included the Manila Club in 1908, the Philippine General Hospital in 1910, the Manila Hotel, in 1912 and the first university building in the University of the Philippines in 1913. One, one Philippine condition that Burnham recognized when he planned Manila was the strong influence of Spanish architecture in the country. For close to three centuries, it's, the country was a Spanish colony. Spanish architecture constructed large cathedrals and government buildings as statements of power. City planning during the Spanish occupation had the church as its focal point, as in the case of the Manila Cathedral. The Manila Cathedral, rebuilt in 1880 due to the earthquake that damaged the first edifice completed in 1595, resembles many traditional churches in Europe. Like other European churches, it was made of stone and based on cruciform plan. It has a freestanding bell tower and traditional facade divided into three portals, the central being the larger. In spite of the evident Spanish marks indigenous architecture in the country we made, in many Philippine provinces, in particularly in city outskirts, the traditional Bahay Kubo or Nipahat could be seen. The organic materials used, like the bamboo, nipa, and thatch, abound in the country. They were favorable for air circulation inside the house because of the country's tropical climate. This type of native architecture reflected Simplicity, providing only the immediate needs of its inhabitants. It was in this milieu that Zaragoza grew up. Zaragoza was one of the first Filipinos educated in architecture in the Philippines. He graduated with a BS in architecture from the University of Santo Tomas in 1936. One of his professors was national artist for architecture, Juan Napil, who belonged to the first generation of architects educated abroad. Another architect was Thomas Mapua. Zaragoza passed the board examination in 1938, making him the 82nd registered architect in the country. One of his early achievements was his winning design for the new headquarters of San Miguel Beer Corporation. This put Zaragoza and his firm in the forefront of the architectural scene in the Philippines. A crowning achievement of Zaragoza's early career was the completion of the Santo Domingo Church and Covenant in, in, and Covent in 1951. At the time of commissioned work, Zaragoza, a staunch believer of Filipino capability to execute things exceptionally well, was president of the Philippine Institute of Architects, an aggregation of professional aiming to put the Filipino talent at, the par, at par with his counterpart anywhere in the world. His position offered him, afforded him to represent the Filipino architects in many gatherings around the world and in many occasions was the only Asian present at the conferences. Zaragoza's travels allowed him to meet other architects and in effect expose him to the different architectural movements in the world. One major figure he met was Frank Lloyd Wright, whose ideas influenced Zaragoza's work in the 1970s as seen in the Vera Mall and the Escolta Bank. In the latter part of 1950s, Zaragoza traveled to Rome, Italy to attend a conference on the new standards of design for Catholic churches at the International Institute of Liturgical Art, an effort, an effort to bring the priest and the parishioner closer. He was the only Asian president in the conference. People also there that he earned his diploma in liturgical art and architecture. Living with the motto, land should not be wasted, Zaragoza was honored in 1973 with Patnubay ng Sini at Kali 
Langan Award by the City of Manila. Four years later, the PIA presented him the gold medal of merit, bestowed to him by no less than his mentor, Juan Nacquil. Zaragoza passed away on November 26, 1994, 56 years after he joined the architectural profession. Throughout his career, he made a mall, a bank, ecclesiastical buildings, and an array of residents, both here and abroad. One church in one church the Zaragoza built in 1975, which visibly reflected the spirit of Filipino architecture, was the Union Church of Manila. The shell exterior of the church reflected the Philippines' tropical location. It also resembled the Philippine Exposition Hall in New York in 1936. Unfortunately, it was leveled to the ground in the late 1990s to give away to give way to a new structure of the same church. And that is it for Jose Maria Zaragoza's story.